Hi, it's Leslie Meredith here in Dubai. I'm joined in the studio by Mohammed Jaber, who's been our moderator for a renewables panel here. Welcome. Thank you for uh, giving us the opportunity to present, to present such a new uh, era of uh, energy generation and what the logistics uh, needs behind it. Right, well it is certainly an era of change and with the diversification we've been hearing that for many years but it now it seems to really be taking off and that sounds like it will present some challenges to the industry as well. Tell me some of the high points that you discussed in your panel. Uh, actually, I, I think the region here, GCC, had put lots of frameworks uh, and uh, national agendas to uh, improve their energy mix cost mm -hmm. and improve uh, 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 their uh, countries, uh, the, rule, the rulers here in the region, and they want to improve their country's uh, footprint too and able to sustain uh, uh, growth uh, without having uh, to do subsidies to the energy section, uh, section and save the, uh, uh, car, uh, the, the oil uh, revenue uh, instead of burn it in, in, in terms of fossil fuel. The renewables is growing in the region. There is a lot of announcement have been uh, discussed today in Saudi, in Oman. UAE present around 79% of the total uh, uh, capacity in the store of renewable energy, uh, uh, especially in uh, Sheikh Mohammed uh, bin Rashid Al Maktoum uh, 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 solar park. Uh, all these investments will bring lots of volumes to the region and lots of uh, attraction for logistics companies. The main challenges we talked about today how the ports are ready to receive this new uh, uh, project, especially when is a very new to the region, it's not something common. Exactly, yes. Mm -hmm. And uh, it needs uh, infrastructure preparation. The plates are 70, 65, 80 meters. How it will be received at the port, how it will be handled, how uh, a logistics company and infrastructure will be able to uh, deal with this uh, kind of logistics. And as well the cost uh, uh, element, which is very challenging, and all the project owners and EBCs are looking how to optimize uh, Saudi uh, sold the lowest ever tariff for uh, solar power, uh, which involves all the market to find uh, uh, optimization, efficiencies, and innovation. And we presented one of the solutions that it could cut the handling cost around 30-40% by reducing the manpower, reducing, uh, there is no it's, it's electrical, unmanned, do inspection from overseas, uh, virtual reality. Uh, that could help a lot. Uh, Do you think that's realistic? Can we get that off the ground? Actually, it's it's uh, not only realistic, it's happened. Excellent! And we get right. the first uh, equipment already imported to Abu Dhabi. We are trying to think on what's coming. As yes. the minister said today in the opening, we need to, to have a lot in the future and sustainable future. So we adapted a lot. We brought those machines already to the region. The model we see here, it's an example for a real one available. And some equipments now start used by uh, big uh, uh, companies, especially in, uh, in renewables and uh, transformers. Uh, so it's happening. Excellent, well that is good news. Now, one of the issues that um, certainly we've addressed at previous conferences, but may, uh, be particularly relevant to the logistics of these renewables is uh, the new IMO fuel regulations that are coming into place right January or early next year. So is that a challenge and and how do you think that might affect this sector? Actually renewable especially uh, went now we, there is lots of projects, three projects announced in Oman and one in Saudi, one coming soon to Egypt, Jordan and Lebanon. There is a huge volume for renewable in, in terms of when due to the size of the plates. Yes, but Some, and they're not manufactured in country. Will they be imported? Yes, mostly imported. Okay. And, uh, we expect a lot of imports. We've been part of lots of visibility from China. China both start applying the regulation now. So there is a limitation of availability of the vessels. Mm -hmm. There is uh, increase uh, as per uh, SAL expect $200 per uh, metric ton for fuel. That means the cost is going to increase no matter what. Right. Plus, 
the biggest stress that some ports, uh, 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 the service manufacturers, but this port doesn't uh, uh, has to comply with the new regulation. Accordingly, this cargo will not move because there is no vessel are enough adapted. The biggest challenge for us in the freight forwarding section, as well the ABCs, that this subject is not taking it not is not. Uh, taking fair share of discussions. Uh -huh. uh, uh, you ask people what the impact on, on fuel or increase in the, in the unit freight rate. No answers. Uh, uh, is there is available fuel? If we I was going to gonna ask you because do you think we won't have a shortage come October, November? For sure, for the time being, there is no enough fuel to address all, uh, to supply all the vessel. And as we discussed today, there is lots of discussion uh, through the governments and oil companies that the refiners has to avail this fuel. But uh, solid answers, the clarity for ship owners, for the ports, for uh, uh, freight forwarder or cargo owners are not really there. Uh, I'm asking a lot of people. Uh, the people were very interesting on the slide, took uh, longest discussion because I feel that now maybe could that break bulk take uh, a bit of ownership and discussing with refineries try on the magazine to put in, uh, some insight into this discussion, even to reach to authorities like maritime uh, authorities or transport authorities, just to tell the public what's going on, exactly. what's going to happen. Exactly, and enforcement certainly is another concern that people have, and it's particularly among the carriers, you know, that some will comply, but those that don't, you know, then they're not on a level playing field as far as rates go, perhaps. I, I just, uh, from a discussion, there is uh, uh, currently people talking to install scrappers. Yes. But if they start right now, they will not be ready by January. No, no. So, I read something from Wartzilla that to w make enough of those scrubbers to equip every ship would take 100 years, and we clearly can't do that. The ships will be, a lot of ships will be scrapped. You think so? Absolutely. Mm -hmm. and in, in, in a very fast rhythm and accelerated uh, 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 way, I think they will start looking for alternative fuel. Uh, maybe LNG, maybe different type yes. of ships. But that yep. takes time though, yes. Mohammed. It That's takes not, time. you can't decide in November you're going to have that ready for January. I, I, I'm not sure if we are, uh, if, if anybody uh, uh, is if, if IMO will not uh, give any, any extension, I think it will be uh, a lot of uncertainty in the market and mm. the market will challenge a curve in a very important moment where these all new project, projects and announcements, especially in the GCC, are just in the takeoff. Uh, we yes. went after a slowdown and we see now a boost and the growth in the coming to the region, but this can turn it down because of, uh, uh, of cost and unavailability. Maybe you can't afford to pay the cost, but if there is no availability of fuel or ships, right. that's right. unsolvable challenge. At uh, the short term, uh, from here to January or within... Yes. It means yes. the ship owners know about this and the market know about this since three, four years. Yes, that is correct. But they didn't correct. do anything about it uh, fast enough. Yeah. So yeah. how that will be taken with the authorities, with the, I'll discuss at bigger uh, reforms. I think it's, uh, there is a lot of question will remain unanswered till we have that clarity. Absolutely. Well, thank you for raising that concern with us and it will certainly continue to be an important topic. Thank you so much. All right. And uh, wish you a successful event. Thank oh, you. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you.